future of abortion access in Missouri will be left up to voters. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Katz. And I'm Laura Moritz. The state Supreme Court reversed a lower court's decision today, meaning access to reproductive care will be on the November ballot. KMBC 9's Matt Evans is live in Jefferson City. And Matt, you heard those Supreme Court arguments early this morning. What happens now? It appears this may be the final legal hurdle before a vote on reproductive health care and abortion rights in the state of Missouri. This is the latest in a long line of legal challenges to get this on the ballot. Not that anybody's keeping track, but this is the fifth one. And it's the fifth legal challenge that Missourians for constitutional freedom, the group behind Amendment 3, has won. Let us be very clear. Today's decision is a victory, not only for reproductive freedom, but also for direct democracy in Missouri. At issue today at the Supreme Court was a lower court's decision that said Amendment 3 should be thrown off the ballot because it did not list all the laws that would be repealed if it passed. Attorneys, though, argued that it would not repeal laws and instead would supersede and overlap with existing statute. The Supreme Court today agreed and reversed that lower court's decision, putting Amendment 3 back on the ballot. Vote yes on Amendment 3. While there were cheers on the state house steps after that decision was announced, across the street on the steps of the Supreme Court, where pro-life protesters camped out most of the day, people were disappointed with the ruling. Disbelief. Uh, we really, truly thought that they um, were going to follow the law. Kathy Fork was one of several advocates who brought this suit and said that while their legal challenges may be over for now, their fight against this amendment is only just beginning. We have not given up. We believe this Amendment 3 should be defeated and we will do everything in our power to make sure that that happens. And while the priorities of people both for and against this amendment are now shifting from the courtroom to getting their ideas and their pitches in front of voters, both sides also haven't ruled out potential legal challenges after the November 5th vote. Live in Jefferson City tonight, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. All right, Matt, thanks. Supreme Court justices also weighed in on Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft's attempt to decertify the amendment based on that lower court ruling. And the Supreme Court today ordered him to include it on the ballot.